Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Model Mama Show. I am your host, Tara Tener, and we have an inspiring, inspiring mama today on our show, Amy Tangerine. I'm so excited for Hi, you to Tara. join us. I am so glad to be here. I'm, Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Okay, Amy is amazing. She just launched her book, her very first book, Craft a Life You Love. I can't wait to read it. Even the cover is just as beautiful as you. you. Um, she has a really fun and su super successful YouTube channel. She is a designer and most importantly, an incredible mama. Thanks. And also a professional scrapbooker and sells really fun scrapbooking tools and accessories and sort of I've seen her take notes, you guys, at We're in Hey Mama together, this amazing platform for women. And I was sitting a couple <laughs> seats away from you and I looked over. This was before I had even introduced myself, but I'm like, I have to meet this woman. Her notes are like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's so incredible that that just comes so naturally to you. Thanks. Yeah. I put a lot of effort into it. You know, really, we I, make it look easy. If things <laughs> stick, it looks better to me when it's brush littered out. Absolutely. Yeah. I know. I just wanted to copy your notes. <laughs> <laughs> but let's dive into, I mean, you're obviously juggling lots of things. You have a very successful career that's so creative and inspiring to others. And you're also a mom. So let's just like start at the beginning. Like, so when you start your morning with your son, like what are, what are your tips for like keeping your morning on track and getting out the door on time? It's funny because I wake up super early on my own. So naturally oh, I nice. wake up between 5.30 and 6 typically. Wow. And he sleeps in. So he's not up okay. until after 7. So I have a whole hour and a half to myself to get things done usually. That's lovely. And to, you know, take my time and ease into my morning. Mm -hmm. My morning ritual is so important to me. And so if I end up sleeping in or if something happens where he wakes up early on a fluke, I get thrown off. Okay. I need some time to myself. I need at least 30 minutes yes. to just sort of ease into the morning. I mm -hmm. used to just grab my phone right away and then be, you know, scrolling away, yes. trying to plan my day, but now I'm more intentional about how I spend those few Rare minutes. minutes to yourself. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I love doing some morning journaling. I stretch. My number one thing is I drink a full glass of water Ooh, right when one. I wake up. Before yes. coffee. Before, yes. And now I'm not doing caffeine oh. at the moment. So yeah, it's crazy. I didn't know you could be a mom without caffeine. <laughs> It's not, it's not that hard, not. but trust me, when, if you don't have to do it, don't do it. I tried <laughs> to switch to tea okay, and that was working for a little while. And then now I'm just not doing caffeine. Luckily I have a lot of natural for energy For natural though. or for health reasons? Yeah, just, just for personal. some health things that I'm going okay. through. Mm -hmm. And my acupuncturist suggested to eliminate caffeine, sugar, gluten, oh and alcohol. And let me just tell you, hard. it's been a journey. Yes. Hard. That sounds really hard. That's hard, but we mamas can do so much, yeah. you know, and when it comes to our health, that's the most important thing. And, and also I'd setting an not, example. I'd rather not take a bunch of medication if I don't have to. So Absolutely. let's just try it with these few diet adjustments and yes. see how it goes. And how do you feel? I feel fine. You know, I feel, I always felt good no matter what. But, I know. Look at her. She's I so think, happy. I just want to sit next oh, to you all day. You. <laughs> I just think that I love the ritual of coffee. I love, yes. you know, getting together with people and having a coffee meeting. And I love the taste of it. But I don't really, it turns out, I don't really need it. That's great. Yeah. Even it's, just it's sometimes so having like a hot cup of water with lemon is really kind of gives you that same essence. You know what? I've been trying that too. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I yeah. love the feeling of it. And mm -hmm. it just sort of sets you into this routine and ritual. So I have my, let's say, hot water with lemon. And then I will begin like a 10 minute journaling practice. Yeah. And I'll just spill all my thoughts onto paper. And nobody sees that book. You know, that's not even my to-do list or my that's bullet incredible. journal or anything. I'll just spill it onto paper. And sometimes I don't take up the whole 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I think that that's just a really wonderful way to feel like you're aligned and you're intentional about how you spend the rest of your day. Yes. Do you write out sort of your 
mission for the day or your goals for the day? Yes, and oh. sometimes I'll write down things that I need to let go of, which is a new practice for me. Yes. Because I was always trying to write out my to-do list and all the things that I need to get done. Right. But I realized that sometimes what's holding you back is actually the things that you haven't let go of yet. So true. And through that practice, I found such lightness mm. and clarity. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably what the diet has shown me, like eliminating oh, all those things. I'm just a little bit more clear yeah. on how I need to spend my time mm -hmm. and what's important. Yes. And you are busy. We can see that. So what, and you've always been a designer though, because you started out, I was reading more about your bio and your journey to launching your incredible book and your YouTube channel. But you, you were saying that you've literally been a designer since you were little. Yes. I've always been into making things. I've always mm -hmm. been crafty. My mom had these weekend projects planned and she would sew matching mommy and me dresses for us. And so I think cute. through her love of creativity, I really found that that was sort of my passion. Mm -hmm. And even though I was only doing it on the side and obviously I was, you know, growing up and having fun, but mm -hmm. I loved going back to making things with my hands. Okay. And that, is that very calming for you? Because it just makes you sort of be, I mean, you have to be present, right? When you're creating something. So that's the essence of it, right? Exactly. I think there's so much to it because when you're sitting there and let's say you're just sewing something by hand, and that's actually how I started my business is I started hand crocheting these arm warmers when I was a fashion stylist and I could wear them on oh photo shoots. How and cool. then I ended up embroidering these tank tops and t-shirts by hand. So the ritual of, let's say I wouldn't normally sit down to just watch TV only, but back then, I would have the TV on or watch a movie, Sex in the City back then, yeah. and get my embroidery on and then feel like I was also doing something for myself where I was, you yeah. know, creating something, but then I always was being entertained too. Yeah, that's amazing. That was before YouTube. <laughs> yeah. This was many so, years ago. <laughs> so being a mom, do you really encourage your son, Jack, um, do you encourage him to do a lot of arts and crafts? Are you that mom that like brings out all these fun projects? So I don't plan projects out as much as I show him what I'm doing. So I could be doing something. I'll tell him, hey, mama's going to watercolor. Would you like to join me? And, you know, sometimes he doesn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. But other times he just jumps right in and wants to do it. And if he's playing with Lego or something, he'll even bring those Lego over and then we'll be building stuff. And then I want to go ahead and do some of my bullet journaling or planning. And he'll see me scrapbooking and he'll want to play too. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah. He used to say, so my studio is in the back of my house, mm -hmm. and he used to come in when he was about a year and a half or two years old, and he would say, my want to work too. My <laughs> want to work too. Oh. And I just remember thinking, like, that was so sweet so that cute. he, you know, saw me doing my job, but then he wanted to be a part of it. Yes. That yeah. is incredible. Way yeah. to set such a good example to just be present and then just for them to use their hands and create things. Yeah. No, he loves it. He, we always make handmade cards for people. Oh. And so he'll, you know, volunteer, voluntarily say, hey, can we grab some markers and crayons to make cards? Wow. I want to make cards for people. I said, sure. Absolutely. Oh. I will never say no to an art project. Yeah. You know, if your kid ever wants to make something with you, you should always just take a break from whatever you're doing because who knows their attention span might only be 15 minutes anyway yeah i know this morning when i was dropping henry off at preschool he was like mama we make cupcakes later and i'm like okay and twist my arm who doesn't want to make cupcakes <laughs> absolutely yes anytime that you can get the I chance know. to spend quality time together doing something truly that he's so proud of too i'm yes. sure yes they taste better when you make them yes they do they totally do but so you're lucky that you can you work from home and you have the space that allows you to do that but do you sort of set boundaries between like being a mom and work mode like do you do the time blocking or what's your because that's like you know it's really like the essence of this show is like all about the transition to motherhood because before motherhood we all we're running a million miles an hour, flying by the seat of our pants, launching businesses, doing different amazing things. And then 
the pace changes a little bit when you become a mom and you really have to pivot and refocus and figure out what works for you. So how did you make that transition? Oh gosh, I think that that transition <laughs> happened, you know, I think that First of all, I put too much pressure on myself at the beginning. I didn't yeah. give myself a maternity leave. I didn't, you know. Well, when I, you're an entrepreneur. I thought that I could just do it all. I had this misconception mm -hmm. that I could literally do it all at the same time. And yeah. so it took me a while to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. And obviously you go through phases, right? Because once I rounded a corner at six months yeah. and realized that I could balance a little bit more work and taking mm -hmm. care of him, then it comes to be, you know, a year old where he's not nursing anymore and he's walking and then that has its own set of challenges and you really have to schedule things out. So I found this rhythm now currently mm -hmm. because he is four and a half, but through it all, I think that one of the things that I really learned, and this is something that I go over in my book, is that you have to allow yourself permission to do what works for you. Yes. And it's okay if that phase only lasts three months. You know, it's not going to be like this forever. And recognizing that is su was such a big deal to me because I just thought that I would never get sleep again. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's a season. Yes. It's not a forever thing. It's not a forever so thing. true. Yeah, so really giving yourself grace mm -hmm. I think is so important, especially when you're yes. transitioning. Mm -hmm. Or launching a new bit. Like I'm oh. sure in the, you know, weeks, months leading up to launching your new book, you were probably busier than normal, but you had to remind yourself that it's okay because once this book launches, there will obviously be lots of work to do, but you can have probably a more like predictable schedule maybe. Yeah. So now I've gotten to a predictable schedule because I set it. You know, I, mm -hmm. I had to set the boundaries. So for instance, before he went to preschool, my mom lives in our guest house. So she was watching oh, him, that's but she would just allow him to come to my studio to say hi to me. But then he would go into the, I want to work too, you know? And because I would have to take those little breaks throughout the day, I realized that I actually had to get a studio outside of the house. So I actually moved out for oh. about nine months. And it really made me focus and say, hey, you know, these are the three days that I can have full work days. Mm. And then the two other days I can have a little bit more flexible. That way, when I'm at work, I'm actually doing the work. And then when I'm home, I can be fully present for him. Yeah. It's I so felt true. very torn. I felt guilty yes. when I was working. Can we talk about mom guilt? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> I never felt guilt I before he feeling. was born. I know. I, I really didn't. And I think navigating through that guilt is something that's so important for people to recognize that, you know what, you're just doing the best you can. Yes. And you'll get through it. And it's okay to say, look, I'm just going through this right now. And I think that people are, will be very understanding, you know, and I think that admitting it to yourself, I yes. think first was really difficult for me. And once I was able to, I'm, obviously my husband saw it, Yes. You know, and so once I was able to get him on board and mm -hmm. he was able to say, hey, look, it's OK. Like, I think this is what you should do. Let's talk about this. Let's figure it out. Yeah. You know, it's well, that's like nice you're... that your husband was so understand. My husband's like, well, then don't do it. And then I'm like, well, then I but I want to do it. And he's like, then do it. He's like, either don't do it or not. But it's like not that. If it was that it's cut simple. and dry, yeah, sometimes <laughs> it is black and white. And I yeah. think that from their perspective, I see the good in that too, because it makes you think like, okay, I really want to do it. I'll make it happen. Yeah. We'll figure it out how to make this yes. happen. Yeah. You know, and I think that realizing that I couldn't always be in two places at once, even mm -hmm. though I wanted to bring him to work events. And I, I'm so grateful that I get to. Yes. When I travel to teach scrapbooking classes around the world, they get to meet him a lot of times. And oh, I think it's such a special. blessing. Yes. But at the and same so time, fun for him to get to experience new cities and new, yeah. Yeah, you know what, honestly, I think the biggest takeaway for me and really the essence of why I wanted to start this positive platform where we could have these discussions is because like everybody feels mom guilt to like varying degrees. But I think instead of feeling mom guilt, you have to sort of just like be so present in what you're doing. Because I think if you can get past the mom guilt, at least I found, it's like I am so much more fulfilled in like everything I do because you don't take that time for granted. So true. I love that. And right? I think it's really 
it really boils down to being present. Yes. Um, my therapist told me the other day that because we do so much, you know, as busy moms, we just do so much. Mm -hmm. And she said, you realize that we're not called human doings, we're called human beings. Ooh, that's so a good when's one. the last time you just let yourself be? And I think that's with having to be present, mm -hmm. you can absolutely tune into those important things that you need to focus on. And then you can be with your children yes. and feel like you're not, you know, doing the work, but that's okay because you're not at work. Yeah, you're, you're not, right. You're not meant to be. You're right. Yeah. And then it makes like, even when you're, you are at work, you're just, you're, you enjoy it because it's either a break or it's like fulfilling your other creative passions and it's a win-win. You just have to really give yourself the time to enjoy both and let's like eliminate the mom guilt. Yes. <laughs> yes. If yes. there was a pill you could take for that, I would right. take it. <laughs> I would totally take it because it's the worst feeling and you're right. It's like you don't experience it until you're a mom and you're in the thick of it and then there's like no way to explain it, but we're helping everybody navigate that awful mom guilt together. Yes. So where can we find you and where can we find your amazing book that I can't wait to read? Well, thanks. I'm at Amy Tangerine okay. on pretty much everything. Awesome. So amytangerine.com. I have a blog that I've been doing for That's incredible, since you guys. 2007. But yeah, find me on YouTube, find me on Instagram, okay. say hi. And my book is at Amazon. It's on at Barnes and Noble stores. Awesome. So yeah. Check and you out. guys have to watch Amy on YouTube because I didn't get her to laugh, but she has the cutest laugh. That's so fun. I was telling you earlier <laughs> that I can't stand my own laugh. So, I know, yeah, but I love it. It's so plenty. endearing and so fun. And Thank you. you have to watch her YouTube channel because it really, it's so great. I mean, you it followed her to San Francisco for her big book, book launch at the Pinterest headquarters. How incredible was it that? It was so much fun. And what's great about, I think, YouTube in general and being able to create digital content mm -hmm. is that people feel like they're there with you. So I they did experience when I was watching, it with you. Yeah. yeah. So I know. Do yeah. you shoot your own video? I do. I know. It see it's I literally felt like I was like on your shoulder. <laughs> like just hanging out. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join. And I love what so she's so fun to watch you and you get like all this creative inspiration for life and living and motherhood and it was such a pleasure talking to you thanks thank for you joining so much us. for having me yeah well until next time hopefully we will have you back because you're incredible thank you guys so much for watching and this is tara and amy signing off from the model mama show see you next time